we're going to drop some cargo there at the uh, BIBL. Pick up more. No, drop some cargo there. Then head over to Accurary. B I A R. I, I can't say the names, guys. I'm probably butchering it, but. So yeah, head there, pick up more for Keflivac, then head back to uh, Keflivac from uh, B I A R. So that uh, that's our. It's our itinerary for the next couple of flights, so everything looks good, loaded in, Norland Air logo, or livery, and we'll be leaving beautiful Ice Fjorda, Ice Fjorda, beautiful, beautiful area of the world. Check it out in Flight Sim, or if you're close, check it out for real. I mean, if you are close, I'm sure you've already checked it out. Yeah, stunning. Did a really good job in, in flight sim with this scenery. This is stock world update scenery, so I think everyone's able to download it for free. Here we go. We have 10 passengers. We have 339 gallons of fuel. Um, we're about 11,000 pounds. So we're not as heavy as yesterday, but we're still fairly heavy. We have more passengers here in Iceland than we did in Greenland, so... It's good. Good for the economy, the FS economy. Jump into cockpit mode here. And we'll quickly run through our checks. So, control lock, come off. Make sure we got parking brake on. Looking good, looking good. Uh, emergency fuel selectors off, fuel pumps off. Flaps will be off. And props can go full forward. Throttle levers can be touched up. Turn these on so on the airplane the battery turns on, they'll be on. Make sure our position lights on. It was on by default, so that's how it goes. Alright, hit the battery here. Check the fuel, 339 gallons or 75% full. I'm gonna go ahead with uh, engine, engine start now, so forward. Fire up and then it'll go right. You guys know the drill, oil pressure. Right up there, and then our fuel handles. We'll push those in once we get up around 10. Probably wait till 15, I think the manual says. Okay, engine spools life. Got on these messages here push pump uh, one half, push pump two. That's fine. Okay, they all look okay. Half boost. Take care of those messages, our generator messages. Then we'll have to go the same thing on the left side there. Just running through this, want to get up and airborne. Oh, guess what? I forgot to turn on Rex. Rex Weather Force. <laughs> when I'm doing these videos, that's in FS economy. I gotta turn on FSE the app, then I gotta turn on VPilot, and then OBS the recorder. So, so it takes a little bit, but here we go. We're gonna inject the weather now. Give it a minute. The sky conditions may change. I believe there's an overcast at 6800. So. Okay, engines look good. We'll grab our readings here. So weather's on, we're going up to 7,000 today. Had the weather ever changed there, you see that? Yeah, my apologies for not loading that right away, but... I'm 
man forgets, a man will forget. And the runway heading is zero eight one. <coughs> zero eight one, so east is ninety. Right there somewhere. Okay, those all look good so far. We'll come back to them in a sec. Before I forget here. Yeah, the weather sure changed a lot now. <laughs> Fire up those generators. Uh, we need more lighting up here. I don't. There you go. The passengers happy. We'll come over here to our flight plan. Let's check our generators here. 18 volt minimum, we're good. Okay, so we'll set. One, two, two point eight. Didn't see anyone on Vatsim. One, ten, one. Okay, so flight plan. Very simple one today. It's. S K A L M. That sounds very Icelandish. B-I-B-L. Not Bieber. Yeah, guy's a weirdo. <laughs> My true feelings on him. A weirdo. Anyway. B-I-B-L. <laughs> Before I start hating on anyone. H-I-J-K-L. There. Blondus. That's a very simple route. Taking runway three over there. So that looks good. Down to 2000 for that. I'm down here to this. We're going to go 385 for West Fajordo and Blonders will be three five one. Three eight five did I say? Uh, three eight five. I'll just move that two to a three. There we go. Move that two to a three. I'll come down here to what was the other one? Three fifty one. <laughs> Alright. A little silly here. DF frequencies. Okay, there you go. Let's see if that loaded in two five. Yes, there you are. Hydraulic pressure looks good. You can see the two gauges. Static port emergency. Test our battery. That little gauge there goes to the red. Light comes on. Good, good, good. Okay, pop back up here. Seven thousand, and we are ready to go. So beacon taxi. 
torpedo heat is off. It's okay. Let's do this. Light plan. What are we at here? What are we saying? What are we saying here? One five seven. One five seven course selector. Give me that course selector. It's almost a uh, about a 180 from where we'll be. Let's see if anyone's on V pilot. Not that I can see. Okay, Unicom. Ice for Jordan traffic, uh, November 3 4 Kilo Hotel type twin otters taxiing to runway 08 for departure to the west. Ice for Jordan. Alright, off we go. Exercising the views again since we're not at that big airport. So, see what happens here. Nice little cloud cover here, looking a little gray out. Not so bad, scenery still nice. Bit of a hill there. Let's roll down here. We're gonna have a crosswind, but that's okay. We got five knots at forty. Ceiling of five thousand twelve degrees. So we're okay in that regard. Such a beautiful area here. Line ourselves up. We'll obviously be making a left turn, gaining some height, spinning back around. We'll do our little check here before takeoff. Throttle back. Okay, fuel quantity looks good. Boost pumps are on. Rudder trim tabs are fine. Flight instruments are okay. Runway heading looks a little off. We'll fix that. Prop levers are full forward, auto feather, we'll select that. Flaps go 20 degrees. Engine instruments appear okay. Pedo heat, can turn that on. Anti-ice, this is where the game crashed last time, so hopefully it doesn't again. Auto prop, intake, wing odor, and right stabilizer. <coughs> On the reading lights in general, leave that. It's fine. Let's do our test here. Okay, that's all right. Bust ties. We can bleed some air. The manual warm. Come back down here. This is all right. Flight controls free, full travel. They do work. Transponder is on, landing lights, taxis off, landings on, caution lights, runway and heading checked. Okay, we are looking ready to go. Nice for Jardo traffic, uh, November 3, 4 Kilo Hotel, taking off runway 08, departure to the west. That's for Jardo. Look at the cruise ship over there, nice. Let's 
instrument panel in here. Just a beautiful lift off. Okay, gas looks good. Undercarriage, we can tap our brakes. Ah, that's screwed up. <laughs> uh, props, we can bring them back a little bit here. And then just get up for best angle. And switches, we're at a nice thousand feet. We can bring back our flaps. Pumps are on, pedo heat's on, auto feather can go off. Just keep our nose up here for the climb. We'll climb out of this fjord, come back around, and go. We're actually departing south, I should have mentioned. But our scalm, our waypoint is south. S K A L M scalm. that probably make our left turn now well, how we got to a stall there it's quick Let me bring that nose down a little bit Looking for seven thousand. <laughs> That's a loud stall horn. Very, very loud stall horn. Looks like we'll overcorrect to this side. There's an airport down there in the water. Six thousand. and we'll level off here. This is pure IFR conditions. <coughs> Sorry, we'll level off 7,000 here. 65. Let's push that nose forward and we'll gain that speed. Seventy one. Eight. Oh, no, no. Hard to maintain altitude when you're speeding. No, no, no. All 
right. Altitude hold and nav. Let the autopilot take over there for sure. And our speed's a bit high. We'll come back on our props. Let's go over our climb checks. Flaps are up. Yes, they are. Auto feather is off. Climb power was set. Landing lights can go off. Cruise checks. So let's go to our power. Come back to 75. And 42. Now that, uh, that was somewhat exciting. Let's come back up here to the anti ice. We'll wing inner and left stabilizer. It's icy in Iceland, is it? Now the windshield heat to get that ice off the window. Alright, it was a little shaky in those IFR conditions again, that's alright. One of those flights where we're up in the clouds. Let's add in some speed here. First we'll check the external view. Okay, we'll add one notch of speed. So I didn't get any invoice, invoice, lightning invoices in my comments, so 2100 sats for next Saturday. I'll issue them right in the morning. Just download Blue Wallet, download any lightning wallet from the App Store. Get your invoice, send it to my comments, I'll send you lightning Bitcoin. That was my promise at 10 subscribers along with my um, Simpit video, which you can check out. How is the corn doing? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's check out how it pairs to the US dollar. 23,182. Alright. It's a good thing. Still buying the dip, I hope, everyone. Yeah, 14 miles. Waypoint. Let's see. Blondos Airport says 14 degrees, no wind, VFR. Ceiling is 68 broken. So 
Good, we'll be taking runway three, I believe. What I wrote down. Better than up here, you can't see nothing up here. Let's add another notch of speed. There we go, 2x. I'm drinking a Zevia zero calorie energy. Zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein. Just 120 milligrams of caffeine per can. 355 milli milli uh, milliliter can. Ingredients, carbonated water, which I'm not a fan of, organic stevia leaf extract, organic caffeine, Tartaric acid, natural flavors, citric acid. The acid's part of the carbonation. I'm not sure. I don't know. Not a fan of those either, but. Here are 46 miles. Chopping off there, and engine gauges look good. Still up in the clouds here. Started our descent around 20 miles. From what I could see on uh, flight plan there. We only really have one quadrant to worry about. Which is a 3,500 foot top. Which will be south of us. And we'll go off to 351. Which I'll set right now. Started ascent to around 25, 20 miles. Yeah, get right in there to runway 03. Which will be 28 degrees. Which we can set that now to our course selector. Where am I going here? 31 miles, so 28 degrees. Oh, it's sure taking its time to turn. Our heading will go 180. And we'll slow the sim back down now. Okay, we're 24. We start our descent. Let's go over our descent checklist. Descent checks fuel quantity selector. Okay, looks good. Caution lights are appropriate. Anti-ice set. And what we'll do with anti-ice right now, pop up. Oh, this cabin signs are still on, landing lights, we can turn those on. Okay, we can select our descent altitude. I don't know why my knob here isn't working too well, but it's not. Pull the power back, nice and ever so gingerly. Back to 10, and go into VS mode. 
I'll start dropping here. We're sure hoping for that 6,800 foot ceiling. So we can see what's up. Not really what's up, what's down. Drop that below 10. Okay. Blondo's traffic, uh, November 3-4 Kilo Hotel type Twin Otter is 20 miles west, 6,300, descending 2,000 inbound to land. Uh, it'll be a left base for runway 03. Uh, Blondo's traffic. Okay, so there's our call out. Break out of these gray haze here. See ice on the strut there. Let's jump in external and see if we got any. A little bit on the leading edge. So, jump back up here. Wing inner. Go left. Speed that up. I don't want to be messing with ice like our last flight there. That was. It's kind of silly. If I'm gonna have to re-inject the weather or what's going on here. Should have broken out by now. Two nine or six eight. You know, I don't even think we touched our altimeter when we were <laughs> we totally missed that. Going through our that's a very, very serious thing. Scatter fifty six hundred, so we should be well below that now. Visibility six and a quarter mile. Come on, Rex. Shut that off and turn it back on. There. Okay, we're in a heading mode to this way. There, see that? I just re-injected the weather is all I did. Heading mode will fly over the NDB. Get a view of the airport. Kind of. We could probably stay at 25. We'll come back up here with our throttle. Seems like we're getting pretty 
pretty low with that. See, I don't know why it didn't update. I think it probably has something to do with me speeding up and slowing down the sim. Should probably read in the forums, but... Check that out. 2,400 feet. Clear the terrain. I just want to be like right there somewhere. <laughs> the seat. Join downwind. I did say left base, so. No, I probably won't go over the NDB. Once I get it in view here, we'll turn for a left base. Have the airport elevation. Did I write that down? No, I didn't write that down. Check sky vector here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Blundos airport. Airport elevation 153 feet. So 1100, 1200. It's a 3,000 foot hard packed runway, is what I read. Is there a road that crosses right there? I was looking on a map on Google Maps last night, and I believe so. Looks like we're not even moving. <laughs> Down at the water. Hey guys, we're five miles. I'm going to take over here. Get our heading in half. Off goes our autopilot. And the rest of our descent. We'll go gas looks good. Undercarriage, tap the brakes, props, and go right to full. Throttle can come back a bit. Switches, landing lights are on, pedos on. Um, pumps are fine. All right, lever check. We'll just start a slow descent here. It's for 20 flaps. Airplane feels heavy. I'm not sure why. But stall. Watch that speed. Could be ice, could be... It has to be ice. It's the weights, there's not a lot of weight. 10 passengers and 168 kilograms. There's a nice approach speed, we can come down a bit more.
Okay, we're at circuit height here. Another 30 of flaps. On this traffic, November 3-4 Kilo Hotels, left base for runway 03 to land visual full stop. There. Okay. This will be a bit of a tight one. Should be okay. It's the twin otters made for. Come up there. Peter Lee can go off. It's a small little airport here. Tap our brakes. I'm not sure where to taxi here. What I'm going to do is just stop it like I usually do. Log the FSE flight. Okay, that's logged. Go ahead. There actually is an instrument approach here too, so believe it or not. I guess we'll kind of taxi in here. Taxi at the end of the runway. Right to the end. I don't have a chart for this. I tried to look for one, but I couldn't find it. So. Taxi at the end of the runway, taxi right there. I guess a flyover would have helped. <laughs> Draw it on the mental map of the the airport. Alright. Put our taxi lights on here. We'll pull, pull right into these guys. Marshall are out of the way there. All right. We'll put it right here. Put those brakes on. Feather the props. Go ahead and do our shutdown checklist and we'll enjoy Blondus. Parking brake, power levers, props, or feather generators can go off. Boom, boom. Fuel levers can go off. We'll go left. Off. And we'll go right. All lights can go off. We'll keep our Navigation position light on. Turn off our battery here. Source of master. Okay, avionics kill switch. Alright guys, there's our short flight.
Okay. What do you guys think of that flight? Besides the weather not properly injecting. Seemed like a nice approach. Nice left base, nice visual. Another beautiful area. Maybe the scenery is not as, you know, created over here, but certainly beautiful Iceland as well. Well, guys, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll have to catch you on the next one. We'll go to B I A R uh, Accurary. Accurary. I would do another flight now, but I know I'll be pressed for time. Something will pop up, and that'll be it. So. Get a zoomed out view here. I checked for an aftermarket of this airport. I uh, didn't find one, but yeah, that's all right. All right, guys, like, subscribe. Feel free to comment. We will catch you on the next flight. Thanks for watching.